giving unto the true and living God, Minister Lord Spade. You know, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the children of Israel. We know uh, that they were in Egypt and they were made slaves. Uh, it's really uncanny, you know, with being so close to black history. Um, but uh, I wanted to talk from Exodus, uh, the first chapter, uh, verses 12 to 14. And when I refer to them, it, I'm, I'm talking about Egypt, uh, uh, the Israelites. And it says, and he oppressed them. And they came so many and they spread out. And the Egyptians were afraid because of the presence of the Israelites. And the Israelites was ruthless and compelled the Israelites to do work. They made their life bitter, hard work with mortar and bricks and all sort of the fields and all their work, which they ruthlessly enslaved them. So I want to talk a little bit about it's time to come out of Egypt. That it's time to come out of Egypt. You know, before we came to Christ, you know, we did things. Uh, we lived for the moment. Some of us, we still do live for the moment. But let me tell you something. Egypt can be anything. As we know, the children of Israel, when they started out toward the promised land and Moses started to lead them, they started out being 70 people. But by the time... The 40 years was up, they were over 2 million people. But every time that they was disobedient, the Lord turned them over into their enemies, and, and their biggest enemy was Egypt. Egypt made them work hard. You know, the Egyptians were known for the bricks and the mortars, and, 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 and the Egyptians made the Israelites work very hard for their labor. And they were growing so much that the Egyptians actually was afraid of them because they was large in numbers. But let me tell you something. God's people are put on this earth to grow, just like the children of Israel. But let me tell you something about that. God has opened ways and ways and ways. When the Lord showed a way out of Israel, the children of Israel started out on a journey to get out of Egypt. And oh, as it's been said so many times before, it took less than two weeks for them to get there. But oh, you would have thought everything was okay. But what should have been a two-week journey wind up being 40 years because of their disobedience. They wind up going in a circle and a circle and a circle. In other words, there were some pit stops along the way. Let me tell you, your life is going to be full of pit stops. Your life will be full of pit stops for one or two reasons. To connect with a problem that's going on, but sometimes God stops you to refill you so that you can go a little farther. Let me tell you something. Egypt can be anything. And I'm just here to tell you that a lot of us have been in Egypt too long. That it's time to get out of Egypt. Some people's Egypt is a relationship that's going nowhere. Your significant other... All you do is fuss and fight. <laughs> the love has left the relationship. <laughs> Somebody need to go their separate ways. <laughs> that can be in Egypt. Your job can be your Egypt. <laughs> that you toil <laughs> all the time. Your labor seem to be <laughs> unappreciated. <laughs> oh, yo family. Uh, you can do the best that you can. Uh, every time you turn around, nobody want to be bothered with you unless they got a hand out for something. Uh, yo, Egypt could be your alcohol addiction that uh, it has cost you your help. It has caused you to have high blood pressure. It's caused you to have 
diabetes. It has caused you to have a sclerosis liver, but you keep going around and around, still going to the liquor store. Let me tell you something, your Egypt might be that crack addiction, huh? that you done lost your home, huh? done lost your job, done lost your family, huh? still putting that dope up your nose, uh, uh, shooting up your arm, huh? been in the hospital, huh? almost OD'd, oh, but God, huh? God had another plan, huh? God is telling you to, to get time to get out of Egypt, uh, uh, whatever it is, it's uh, making your life hard. Uh, you're working harder than you have to. Uh, the only thing that you need to be working hard at is praising God uh, and yielding to him. Uh, let the Lord fight your battles and see the children of Israel. When they came to their senses uh, and Moses uh, and Joshua came, uh, uh, Moses, uh, because of his disobedience, uh, uh, he was not uh, allowed to enter the promised land, but he succeeded. He was succeeded by Joshua. And when the children of Israel uh, went up against old Pharaoh, uh, they had to go through some trials and tribulations, uh, but they walked on dry land from the Red Sea, uh, that they was delivered uh, out of Egypt. Uh, I'm just trying to tell you, brothers and sisters, uh, the time is winding down. Uh, it's time to get out of Egypt. Uh, it's time for a new journey. Uh, this year, 2020, uh, need to be the year of your breakthrough. Uh, the things that have kept you down, uh, the thing that have kept you in a prison, uh, being in your circumstances, uh, being around friends that don't mean you no good. Uh, it's time to get out of Egypt. Uh, you might be uh, around church members that may not mean you no good, uh, but it's time to step somewhere else. Seek the Lord's face, uh, because there's going to be a time uh, when he is to, you're going to look for him, uh, and he will not be found. Huh? Let me tell you something. God want to get you out of Egypt, huh? but we so much like the children of Israel. Huh? We keep doing things over and over again, huh? and we wind up when we take a step to come out of Egypt. Before you know it, we get off detoured. We get distracted, huh? and then before you know it, huh, we're back at square one, uh, not no farther along than we was the year before. Uh, we wind up and we're back in Egypt. Uh, we're back with that bondage on our back. Uh, we're back to that alcohol. Uh, we're back to those bad relationships. Uh, I'm just trying to tell you, uh, we don't need to be going in circles uh, each and every day. God wants us to stay out of Egypt. He's made a way. Uh, let God uh, part your Red Sea uh, when you start to worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, you don't have to stay in Egypt, uh, boys and girls, because let me tell you something. God's got a way. Uh, he's a way maker. Uh, he's got uh, that rod, that rod in your hand. Uh, lift your hand. Uh, as he told Moses, what is that? In your hand, he said, a rod. He said, throw it down. He threw the rod down, and it turned into a serpent. Uh, he picked it back up, and it turned back into a rod. God is saying, uh, throw down your rod, uh, and let me turn it into what I want it to be. Pick it back up so you will have the power. See, here's the problem. God has given us a lot of power to get out of Egypt. But we get so distracted. So much tunnel vision. Looking around, we go to church. And what do we do? We play on our cellular devices. We're not paying no attention. Listening to the word of God that will make us better people. But it's time to get out of Egypt, because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, when the Lord returned, uh, Egypt is going to be destroyed. And I got to tell you that if you're in Egypt, uh, you're going to get destroyed with the Egyptians. And I'm going to tell you something, but it don't have to be that way. God's making a way. We got to learn 
how to get out of Egypt. Keep pressing the upward way, knowing that God will fight your battles. But all you got to do is stand. Because the Bible says that the victory is already won. But we got to get out of Egypt, brothers and sisters. We're staying there too long. We're letting too many things dictate our lives. We're keeping too many people in places that hinders our growth. And you won't be a Christian overnight. But this is a new year. And you have to start somewhere. God wants to bless. But sometimes God allows losses. So many losses that the only thing that is left is himself. But it don't have to be that way. And the reason God allows losses is because he's allowed you to use your free will to serve him. But you haven't taken advantage of it. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> you need to be able to wear your testimony. As my sister always say, wear your testimony. And if any circumstance or any person keep you from wearing your testimony, you need to remove that place or that person out of your life. Sometimes you got to start over because you need to walk in victory. When Jesus came to die on the cross, part of his dying on the cross and being buried and rising again is for the right for us to walk in victory, to live a blessed life while we're on this earth. Oh, we're going to have some ups and downs. It's just a part of human life. But we don't have to hold on to the things that keeps us down. We don't need to hold on to nothing that keeps us in Egypt. How many times, <clears throat> and I just want a few examples, people feel they're in a dead-end job, can't get no more pay raises. Thank God you got a job, but you're not going anywhere. You're at the top of the pay scale. You pay what you can with your bills. But you come home unhappy because you just can't find contentment there. You hate getting up in the morning, going to that place. Relationships. Every time you walk in a house, there's an argument. Can't agree on nothing. Going to church, sitting in the service, and your mind just wanders because you're not getting what you need. And don't be fooled, brothers and sisters. Every church don't have what you need. But it's so important to get in a church that can feed you to give you what you need so that you can progress in your Christian walk. Don't let anything keep you in Egypt. It's time to come out of Egypt, brothers and sisters. Because the hour is growing late. But let God lead you and continue to bless each and every one of you. Minister Laura Spate, may the peace of Jesus be with each and every one of you. 
I thank you. Any of you that haven't checked out my website, Twin Ministry, have a prayer line, 2 Chronicles 714, Prayer Warriors Prayer Line. It's on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Uh, I'm not going to have it today. Uh, I'll, I'll be back on it um, Saturday. I mean, um, I'm going back on it Thursday. Thursday. So I'll be back on the prayer line um, because of the holiday today. I won't I won't be on prayer tonight. But come together in prayer. We want to outreach our sister countries. There's a lot of orphans all over. Our sister countries that don't have anything. And I'm just trying to send them material so they can be taught God's word. I send it through social media because they have no means. They don't have Bibles. So I'm doing that until God works out the provision. And he's going to do that. But I'm just saying, you know, want to do more for the Lord and feeling that you're in a stagnant place. That could even be your Egypt. Anything that keep you discontent, keep you labored down, is your Egypt. But trust God and let him give you the rod to part your Red Sea so you can get out of bondage. So you can have that joy, that unspeakable joy. And the Lord can give you what you need. May the peace of Jesus be with each and every one of you. And may God continue to bless you. Minister Laura Spate, God bless.